The Quran is guidance for the whole of mankind. وَبَيِّنَاتٍ مِّنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَانِ And the Quran makes clear what is haq, what is batil, what is good, what is bad, what is useful to you, what is harmful to you, what is really, what is really yours. Who is your friend, who is your enemy, and shaitan is your biggest enemy. إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌ فَاتَّخِذُهُ عَدُوًّا Shaitan is your number one enemy. Other people, sometimes they are your enemies and then they can even become your friends. Sometimes even the best of the friends can become the worst of the enemies. And such friends are very dangerous because they know all about you. But shaitan, Allah says in the Quran, he is your main enemy. Uh, he is your main enemy. And your best friend, you know who is our best friend? Allah is our best friend. Allah We live in this world with all of the luxuries, with all of the comforts, and we think that this is what the world is meant to be like. But we fail to realize that even in luxury, even in blessing, this is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even luxury and blessing is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is what it all comes down to. That this life is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنْفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ أُولَئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتٌ مِّن رَّبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٌ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُحْتَدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in these beautiful verses, Surely we shall test each and every single one of you with a loss of wealth, with a loss of life, with a loss of profit and trade. So give glad tidings to those who are patient. Those, when they are tested, they say to Allah we belong, and to Him we shall return. Upon those people are the blessings and prayers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And indeed, those are the ones who are truly guided. So Allah has revealed the Qur'an for the guidance and benefit of the whole of mankind. And then Allah began the Qur'an. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Be aware, be conscious, whatever happens in this world, all happens for, with the will of Allah. Whatever good, is, whatever good takes place, all the credit goes to Allah. Aqul a'udhu bi Rabbin Nas. And all the people of the world, Allah is the one who looks after them. And when you want anything, Rabbana, 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 turn to your Lord and pray to Him, Ya Allah, you are the one who provides and gives. And you are the best of the givers. Khairul Rahimeen, Khairul Raziqeen, Khairul Hafizeen, the best of the protectors, the best of the providers, the best of Khairul Nasireen, the best of the helpers. Throughout the Quran, Allah has mentioned the word Rabb, Ulama say no less than seven, eight hundred times. Seven, eight hundred times. And then as soon as people leave this world and they're put in their graves, you know what the first question is? Who is your Rabb? 